EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your outlook for the weekend, October 2nd and 3rd, 2021. We have a pretty nice weekend coming up here, so you're going to want to get out and enjoy it while you can, because I do have an unsettled period coming in here for the week ahead that you're probably not going to like. Uh, the good thing is it's uh, during the work week, and there's still some uncertainty on uh, exactly how that evolves. All right, and I said touch on this a little bit in yesterday's video, and I'll do it again uh, today for those who did not see what I was talking about. So we still have the same differences between one model and the next, and they're pretty substantial, those differences. Uh, so this is going to be a great weekend, great weekend to enjoy a good craft beer at Bozergeist Brewing Company, who sponsors the weekend forecast video uh, today. And uh, they have uh, a couple new things uh, that they introduced, uh, not only a new beer, new beer selections, they're heavy on the Oktoberfest theme right now uh but i also have a new menu and some very good pairings you ever go to uh my wife goes to wineries all the time and they always have this, these foods that pair well with certain types of wine well they did the same thing they did this with with the beer and the craft beer that they uh they have so a lot of the menu items are tailored to to pair with certain types of beer which is a pretty pretty amazing thing uh, so they have a new menu out, uh, so check them out. They are 1250 Simon Boulevard in Easton, very close to Lafayette College. That is Bozergeist Brewing Company, proud sponsors of the weekend forecast videos. Uh, so today we are mostly sunny. So again, enjoy this while you can, because next week it's going to be a little bit different of a story, we think. And uh, mostly sunny today. We're going to see a noticeable increase in temperature, and we'll have the highs that will get up into... Uh, the middle 70s today, so we'll have a, a, a big difference from what we just saw the last couple of days. It's very fall-like, very refreshing. Well, now we're going to go on the other side of the spectrum and head to slightly above average, where average temperatures right now are right around the 70-degree mark for most areas. So 75, obviously, is warmer than that. So we're going to be uh, warmer today, warmer even more so on Sunday. We get to the upper 70s and maybe even touching 80 down here by the Philadelphia region, 8082-ish down there in the Philadelphia metro. Uh, we are going to have uh, sun to start on Sunday, and then the clouds are going to increase as this uh, next system and front comes at us. This front is actually going to come through on Monday. And here's who here's the NAM has. I think if you, there's a, there's a warm front associated with this, and I think if you're nearest the New York, Pennsylvania border, you're the best chance to see some showers during the day, during the afternoon. Uh, so this is looking at uh, noon here, and you see some, Showers up here by Williamsport, and this kind of skates across nor uh, northeast PA here, uh, and this is going through uh, late afternoon, early evening. And then you have some, during the evening hours, you have some showers move moving in, but this is generally coming in uh, toward toward dusk or very or very close after that. So you have a few showers just rotating through with that. This is association with a warm front that's going to push through first, and then we'll have the cold front come through here on Monday. And with that front, we're expecting some uh, scattered showers to be likely during the afternoon mainly, uh, afternoon and evening here on uh, on Monday. So there will ha we will have scattered showers. This is not a tremendous amount of rain, but there is uh, scattered shower sh showers nevertheless coming through here uh, with that cold front. And then after that, that front looks like it's going to get held uh, hung up a little bit for our southeastern areas. It won't be completely pushed through, so there is the opportunity for some scattered showers. A little bit, for, little bit better chances further south, but there is a chance for scattered showers again on Tuesday until that front fully clears. Then after that point is the big question mark. Upper level low in the uh, Tennessee Valley, western Tennessee Valley, is expected to be right about here, right uh, close to uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where I spent uh, three and a half years of my time in the military uh, stationed there. So it's very close to the Fort Campbell area, right, o right over western Kentucky, western Tennessee. Uh, there is a surface low, a series of surface lows that are going to rotate around this, and the European model depiction has a very wet solution, okay, and it's all because of the handling of this upper level low and where it is. GFS wants to take this down into the Mississippi Valley from the Tennessee Valley, which changes the ball game a little bit. So for us, uh, for Wednesday, Wednesday doesn't look too bad, just a few scattered showers here and there, right? But then Thursday and Friday, it brings this slug of rain through here for plenty of showers that goes right in through Friday and maybe even in a Saturday on the, on the European model. Uh, so you see this just lifts off to the north with the upper level low, which is now up in the Ohio Valley, not Tennessee Valley, the Ohio Valley, and continues northward in the Great Lakes, which brings all of this moisture with it up to the north. So that's a pretty wet week, okay? And that's uh, Monday is wet because of the cold front. Tuesday, maybe some residual wetness because of the uh, cold front getting hung up in the eastern areas. And after that point, uh, it looks pretty wet Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even Saturday on the European model. GFS, on the other hand, uh, has the cold front coming through here on Monday. There's the cold front. 
And here's some residual showers here on Tuesday. Not much, but a little bit. And then after that point, high pressure builds into the northeast United States and southeastern Canada, and it forces everything south, including the upper level low, which is forced south into the Mississippi Valley. And it kind of hangs over the Tennessee Valley for a little bit. So here is the precipitation for the Wednesday through Friday time frame. There's absolutely nothing. Very little. Okay, so the GFS is painting a different picture with regard to rainfall next week. And that goes straight into next weekend where it's dry generally from Wednesday or mostly dry from Wednesday through through that same Saturday period. So a lot of questions need to be answered about that time frame. We don't know exactly how it's going to play out. And whenever you're dealing with an upper level low, which has a mind of its own, it does its own thing. You'll have this. You'll have this uh, model confusion. And this upper level low is going to be at the base of a trough which is going to be situated off to our west. So here's that trough right here. And this is going to be situated off like this. At the base of the trough is where the upper level low is sitting right here. Okay. And all this energy out here, there's little pieces of energy out here. They're going to rotate around that. And some of those may come up here depending on the position of this upper level low. So that's what they're, that's what I'm talking about here. All right. So again, being handled differently between the European model uh, and European and Canadian models are probably are pretty much in close alignment, but the GFS is doing something different. So it might be we're going to allow for showers on all days, all five days next week in our local forecasts. So if anything, the forecast can has a, the ability to trend better. OK, not worse because it's already we already kind of painted the worst case scenario, but it does have the ability to get tread a little better with time. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, next week, and I should hopefully have better answers for you on Monday when we do the next daily forecast video. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for the weekend, October 2nd and 3rd, 2021. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.